Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. It's about time to take a look and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this will be a treat. This is another one that Daniel sent me. He brought it up to New York and he's from Brazil. So he packaged this stuff up and, and brought it uh, on the plane to New York and then shipped it from New York to me. Uh, this is Baden Baden Red Ale. And uh, there's not a whole lot of English on the bottle since it's, uh, it's written in Portuguese. Uh, it does have... Uh, does have a date on the back of it here, 1205.14, and I don't think there's anything else that I can decipher that I can tell you off the bottle here, so we'll go, it does say 9.2% alcohol by volume, and it says red ale on the label, but technically according to Beer Advocate, it is an English barley wine. So it says year-round availability on this one. This is a big beer. That's why I have the, uh, the double glass here, guys. Uh, the food pranks for this beer, the cheeses are sharp blue cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola Limburger, and it does not have any meat pairings with it. This is a big beer. It's going to go with your stronger dishes. The, uh, the glassware, like I said, is uh, I brought the double. You can use the pint, Becker, style, and the snifter. Uh, the tumbler, the oversized wine glass, and hopefully this one won't break like the first one did when I tried to get the cap off of it. I don't think it has a commercial description that I can read. Uh, no, nope, it says written in Portuguese, so I cannot read it. So, without further ado, Daniel, thanks again for sending these beers. I think I got stuck. Hmm. I might have a bend in there or something. Might have a bow in that one. It's not swinging out of the thing like it should. Nice carbonation with that one. No breakage. Yay! Alright, let's get this one into the glass, guys. It's a barley wine. You reckon we'll get a head? Look at that, 9.2%. Wow. 9.2% and look at that head. There's a good two fingers of head on that beer pouring down the center. Alright, over into the light. It is fairly clear. It is a rich red ruby color. Uh, the head is an off-white. It almost looks like a, ch a dark cherry color. Well, let's get a nose on this one, guys. It looks very tasty. Yes, very reminiscent of a barley wine. I'm getting some dark fruit, some cherries, and plums, and dates, and raisins. Ah, there's some mola molasses. I'm not getting the alcohol. I mean, this doesn't smell as boozy as the uh, bottle tree that we did yesterday. And this is a lot bigger beer. It smells very sweet. Hoping it won't be overly sweet. Well, we're going to give it a taste and see what we got here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Daniel. That is very tasty. Almost like it has a candied sugar taste to it too. Very sweet. 
not overly sweet. Just enough bitterness to balance it out. Wow, very nice. I'm not giving any alcohol at all. Wow, very delicious beer. Look at the lacing it's left on the glass. And of course the head has dissipated. It's about a quarter of an inch now covering the top of the beer. Very good looking beer. I don't know if you can see the reddish tint to that. Very clear. Very nice. Very good looking beer. Very good, very tasty beer. Well, I'm going to share the other half of this and we'll come back and do the final chug. But I believe this one is the winner, guys. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Maybe just a little bit more. Better hit it one more time. Wow. I've been sipping on this for about an hour now. It is very nice. Very pleasant. Probably the best one of the, uh, the three that we've done so far. Got one more left in the fridge, so... Let's do the final chug on this one. I don't consider this a red ale, even though it's got red in, in the color. It's a, it's definitely a barley wine type beer. Molasses, dark cherries, some darker fruit, maybe some raisins and plums, and figs and dates, some uh, some molasses. Very balanced, no alcohol. Uh, aroma or a taste in the beer. Very well made beer. It's definitely an A beer as far as I'm concerned, guys. It's got the date on the back of the bottle. Uh, it's, a, it's it's pretty damn tasty. Guys, I'm going to give this an 8, which is an A-. minus. It, it's very misleading having red ale written on the front. And I'm just assuming they're taking this from the color of the beer instead of the style of the beer. It, it doesn't fit the style of a red ale. But it definitely is a nice barley wine. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to 8, which is A minus. So, let's go to the ratings. Rate Beer says it's 91 overall and 57 in the style. So, they're, they're probably agreeing with them there. It is not a red ale. It is, it is classified on the bottle there as a red ale, but it is a barley wine. Very nice. Very sweet. Not overly sweet. A good balanced barley wine. I'm I'm just I'm blown away that there is no alcohol taste in this beer at nine percent. Very nice, guys. Let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate, and Beer Advocate says eighty-six, which is they're very good, and I agree it is a very good beer. So Daniel, thanks again for sending these beers to me. Uh, I'm anticipating doing the last one here in the next day or two, and uh, I'm hoping it's just as good. From the information one of Daniel's friends uh, sent me, uh, these beers uh, cost about $5 a piece for this size bottle, which is a 600 milliliters. It's definitely enough for two people. Very nice, very tasty. So guys, if uh, any of the subscribers have had this beer, I don't think it's distributed out of Brazil. I may be wrong there, but uh, pretty sure it's not distributed in the United States. So uh, give me some comments back if you've had it. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.